Hi, everyone. Um, today we're going to be talking about virtual instructions. Are we there yet? I also have my partner, Jen Hodges, who also helped create uh, this PowerPoint and some of the resources you're about to see. So let's go ahead and get started. So is this happening to you? Have you been showing up to all your meetings, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, only to find that 1% of your students are there with their screens off? So if we look at the right-hand side, we can kind of notice uh, a big difference. Elementary school children uh, definitely want to be heard and seen most of the time through their cameras. And then with our middle school and high school level, sometimes we see that we don't have a lot of interaction with our students and a lot of them have their cameras off. So what we're gonna be doing today is showing you a couple things you can do in your classroom to kind of help with that. So why do we need to engage students? Uh, we need to get them from the get-go. We need to pull them in, right? So remember Erickson and how we kind of combat um, getting students to not participate is looking at the different stages of development. So at the middle school and high school level, we're kind of working with um, school age children and making them feel uh, comfortable in our classrooms, even if they're virtual classrooms. All right, so today we're just gonna look at classroom screen in Canva for this um, video. So first thing we're gonna look at is classroom screen. Classroom screen is really easy to use. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about this. All right, so all you have to do is type in classroom screen. It's gonna bring you to a home page. What you are going to have is you're gonna have a couple different tools right here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine to full screen. And uh, you have the calendar feature, which I usually pop up here, and you can move these around. I usually have my clock up when students come in. And like I said, I can move this around too to where I think they should be placed. Uh, you also have the stopwatch feature if you want to use it. I also use the timer a lot um, for my different classrooms. You can change the time on here. You can also change the um, sound. Like once this goes off, it's of just using the regular bell. So for example, you have like the Mario theme or a couple different ones. We're just gonna hit play on one of them. Just to kind of add a different flavor to your classroom, you can always click off of them. You have your traffic light. Maybe you need students to stop and look at you. You can always click the red one. Or maybe you need them to um, start getting ready for you to start talking. Or maybe they're working on their own. You can hit green. You can click off of that. Work symbols. Maybe you're physically in the classroom and you need them to um, be silent because you're about to start a lesson. Maybe you've already started having students um, work on their own. You can have the whisper icon. You can have them ask a neighbor if you're physically in class or maybe they're in breakout rooms. And then working together. Text is usually what I use most of, the, most of the time. So you can type up here. I usually have my bell work question up, our to-do list of what we're gonna be doing in class that day. And then you can have a bulletin list. You can have a link to a website maybe you need to pull up for later. Your drawing icon. This is kind of like Jamboard, but you can actually draw on this using your mouse or maybe your whiteboard if you're using a Promethean board. You can have students um, answering questions on your whiteboard. You can also in, make this larger or you can click off of it. Uh, QR code, maybe you want students to go to a website, they can scan this QR code that's attached to a website if they're virtually or if they're physically in the classroom. Media. I can have my webcam pop up. I can um, add an image. I can do a YouTube video. Maybe I want them listening to music when they first come in the classroom. 
So you can pop up um, a video or maybe you're introducing a lesson. So you can put a introduction video in here and have that ready for them. Uh, sound level, if you want to see if students are being too noisy in your classroom, you can set that. Dice, I've had teachers use this feature for um, multiple like math problems. Um, I've had them use it for a couple different things. So you can choose one, two dice, and three dice. Okay. Um, the free version actually lets you um, have up to three different lists in here that you can have your students' names up here, and it will choose somebody at random. And then my favorite part is this one down here. And since it's kind of chilly outside, I think I want to do this fire one. You can kind of see how it's animated. And I can change the colors, intensity of my clock, just to kind of, you know, give it some extra style to it. You can also follow us, um, share, like, or comment on this playlist. And uh, we are also available through at Dear Districts on Weebly and gmail.com. Subscribe and enable notifications on YouTube so you can get more videos like this. And you can also subscribe to any of the Apple podcasts. Thank you so much for um, coming today to our video and have a great day.